Hey YouTube, Mr. KD here. Keto Diamond or Keto Queen, whatever you want to call me. Keto Diamond, okay. And this is Keto and Fitness Day 69. Numbers are starting to get up there. No, we haven't been to the gym every time, <laughs> but we are still doing keto every single day and we are still trying to be healthy in fitness, even if we don't make it to the gym. That we still do stuff. It's just not fitness stuff. It's still activities. It's still, you know what we're saying. You can't always get to the gym. Life prevents it. But we're going to talk about today. But first, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Do all that good YouTube jabs that the wife says makes this channel grow. And talking. please, please share the videos. I've only had one person share one video. Oh. So please, oh, it really, yes. really, really does help. When y'all share it, Ladies. more... More people will get to see it. More people might be interested. So please, share the videos. It's time, y'all. couple of beef patties i uh, have a half a piece of cheese on each so i hope it's cheese organic ketchup mayonnaise and some mustard all right there's been something i've been meaning to start doing i just haven't uh, put it in effect yet mainly because i didn't i didn't want to make my video shorter but considering how we're going to do things today i figure it's a perfect opportunity to do that so what we're going to do is from now on we'll tell you what we plan to do and, hey youtube Oops. We'll tell you what we're planning to do, that we're planning to go to the gym or whatnot, or if we're not planning to go to the gym, and what we're planning to do at the gym. And then the next day, we'll tell you what we actually did and whether or not. That way, I can get my videos uploaded faster. Y'all can get to see it before midnight, and I don't have to stay up late working on it. And it just makes more sense. She, she, she's the one that put, put me on that. <laughs> uh... There was a lady that left a comment on one of my videos. I think it was last night. I don't know which one it is. I should be on the right video. But uh, I'm, I'm going to read it to you, then I'm going to address the comment, if I can find it. Oh, yeah, right here it is. It's by uh, Derek Grace. Did I say that right? I don't think it's a lady. Well, <laughs> or dude, whoever, somebody. Uh, Mr. KD, you have been trying to gain weight on keto for two months. Now, but it appears you are still in the low mid 150s. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> and are not putting on weight. No, I'm not. We would like a weight update. And so far, your findings on trying to gain size on keto, because I do not see it possible. All right. First off, it is very possible to gain weight on keto. I have researched it. But you can gain fat too. But I don't know why you would want to gain fat. To gain fat, you really, really got to eat way, 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 way above your... Caloric intake. Yes. And some people would, would be able to do that. Somebody that was on a Western diet that was a really big binge eater that probably ate five or six hamburgers per sitting, you know, for one meal, probably could gain weight on keto if they continue to eat like that. Because me and my wife looked at it. Six hamburgers is forty seven hundred calories, and if you eat that three is that times a, the bun, no, that was with with the, no, that, that was without the bun. Okay, that's forty seven hundred calories, and if you eat that three times a day, you will gain weight, even on keto. When I get to my goal weight, challenge accepted. We gonna see if I can get fat but on keto. What I am trying to do is gain weight the proper way, and I was gaining. I went from one fifty to one fifty seven. But then some stuff happened in my life and I got extremely emotional, extremely stressful, anxiety constantly, and I have not been getting my calories. Or going to the gym properly. Oh, yeah. And when my back's been bothering me, it's been keeping me out of the gym and, and, and car issues and it's a lot going on. More than y'all realize that's going on. And it affects me really badly. Most days, I do not get more than 500 calories for the past month. And because of that, I have lost a lot more weight than I intended. So, what is my weight? Well, this morning, it was 145.2. 145. 
So from I went from being working out to 150, 157 down to 145. I will not gain no muscles if I cannot at least get six, 15, 1600 calories a day. I have to get at least that. And even then, that's going to be a slow process. And that's got to be some protein, some heavy protein. In yeah, there. I mean, when I go to the gym, I do heavy up on protein. I usually get around 200 grams of protein and around, a, I don't know, 160 to 180 grams of fat. But I do hit, get plenty of protein. A lot of things come into play, though, like emotional well-being, stress, mm -hmm. being physically able to get into the gym and, and do what you're supposed to, feeling like doing it. And, of course, eating enough, especially protein when you're trying to build muscle. So, I mean, these things have hindered him. He has lost weight. But you can build size on keto. And hopefully one day we can properly prove that. Well, I will prove that once I get my feelings in check. And I, I am working on that. I do have an appointment with a therapist uh, Friday. Friday, yeah. And I also have an appointment with my doctor about the medication he put on me. He, he put me on for anxiety. I get to tell him that did nothing. You know, Nothing at all. I still get extreme anxiety. and uh, It's just a lot going on in my life. And she's the most help I get. And I'm not very helpful. She does what she can. And it's greatly appreciated. But she can't fix everything. Some of it is on me. A lot of it is on me. A lot of it is I got to fix myself. And maybe, okay. maybe one day I will tell y'all why it was that was affecting me. But right now, it's personal, and I want to keep it that way. Uh, but the brighter news, we are going to the gym. But first, I'm taking the wife out to eat. She's been a good girl. I think she deserves it. Should we go to the gym first? I have to, We might go to the gym. We, we'll discuss that on the way. I mean, that's up to you. I just I hate working out on a heavy stomach. I feel like I'm going to yeah, get sick. I know. Uh, but we are going to go to the gym. I plan to work my full upper body. My back is bothering me, but it's not bothering me as bad as it has in the past week. So... Take advantage, right? It hurts, but I made it through work all day, and I should be able to work out with it. So I'm. I'm a, I hope it's cooler in the gym than it is in here. Good lord, it's uh, they, they didn't have the AC on, but you know you still gonna sweat because you're working out. Uh, but I plan, like I said, I plan to work my upper body. I'm gonna do my full upper body, and that's gonna be arms, chest, back, abs, all that. I plan to get on the treadmill. Which I already knew that. That's all she does now. And that's all she needs For to do. For right now, anyway. And she will get back to uh, weight training. But she is doing exactly what she should be. She is in fat burning mode. And the treadmill, bicycle, elliptical, any of those are the best thing you can do. Well, there's some good research saying that muscle building helps too. But with that, with that yeah, burning. But, yes, but it I does. can't tell what's muscle and what's fat until... I need to get as much fat off me so I can see what muscle looks like. She is 100% correct. Weight training will burn fat. But studies have showed the fastest way and the best way for working out to burn fat is walking Is walking or bicycling, which is both the same thing. Moving your legs. It's more about distance, uh, pace, yeah. that kind of thing. So, so. And we only stay about an hour. If she's got to pick which one's the one to do, weight training or treadmill, you should pick the one that's going to benefit you the most. Right. And now when she gets down to a smaller size and she starts getting key areas that she wants to lose weight, then I think that's where weight training will come in handy. Now, mind you, when you lift weights, and let's say like I, like, like I still got a little bit of a belly. You can't see it because I lost so much weight, but you can feel it. I mean. I can play with it. <laughs> and, but for me to lose this, you would think I need to do abs, right? Well, you would be partially right. But just because I'm doing abs does not mean I'm losing weight in my abs. No. You, When you work out, you can lose fat from anywhere in your body. It does not necessarily mean you're going to lose that fat from that area you're working. But you will lose some there because when you work that area out, you cause it to heat up. And that heat up will burn the fat in that area. So other than that, you can't spot burn fat. No. Um, you can work on your abs all day, every day, and you're only going to burn what your body allows but, you to burn. You might burn from your upper back, from your arms. But that does not mean you should not work that area to right. burn fat. Right. It can help. It is helpful. It, because even if you're not burning in that area, you're still building muscles. And that muscle will replace the fat eventually. It just takes time. I can't wait till the muscle replaces the fat. <laughs> so, just 
keep that in mind. Because if y'all go and y'all, let's say you got a big belly and you're going and you're doing abs and you're trying to lose that big belly and you don't see nothing, don't stop. You're losing weight. You're losing fat. It's just not in your belly. Eventually, it might be in your belly. But also, don't just go and work on your abs. Work on some other stuff while you're there, too. I lost a ton in my belly, uh, but that's not the first place to go. My butt, my boobs, and my thighs were the first uh, ones to go. That's for a woman. <laughs> for a guy. Uh, it could be your butt, it, boobs, and thighs. Well, for me, it wouldn't be because I got any one. <laughs> well, I actually, my, I did have some. So, see, he had some boobs. But, man boobs. But they got Small now. ones, yeah. Uh, oh, really? Ooh, that feels a little solid, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, solid boobs now. Uh, what else is there that y'all need to know? One of her favorite lines. Don't be courage. If you fall off, if you, you know, have a relapse and you get a little lazy, if you go in the gym, like, like I have, but she forces me to go. Anytime I miss more than two or three days, she has to force me to go. But once I go, I'm back in the routine of it. Now I got to take off my flip flops, put on my damn tennis but, shoes. But if, if you struggle, if you, you know, get discouraged, get back up there. Do it again. And make your next meal keto. And make your next meal keto. And your next day of workout. Fall yeah. down, get up, dust yourself off. You don't roll in the mud treat just life, you fell in it. Treat life like it would be if you did fall. Because if you do fall, you're not going to lay there. Get back up. Always. And wh whatever got you down... I hear the house filling up, that's all. Whatever gets you down, don't let it get to you. It's just a phase and it will pass. Be your own best friend, not your own worst enemy. What she said. She has always got great advice. So, if you haven't done so, because you can tell from her standing here giving all this good advice, she knows what she's talking about. Sometimes. Her, her channel is in the link in the description, a link in the description. Or Check just it type out. in Keto Diamond, you'll find me. Either or, but... Check the description for it if you want to. Also, her website, KetoDiamond.com, for a complete beginner's guide, complete foods list, some uh, victory stories that people have shared about their success on keto. If you'd like to share your victory and story, send us an email. Send her an email. And that's in the description, too, along with mine, if you want to contact either one of us. And my Facebook, if you like me so much, you want to add me as a friend. I will talk to you on Facebook. Uh, there is... Uh, performance nut butter. If you're interested, those things are yummy. And if you're trying to if you're trying to do keto and you're having cravings, those will help. They're a little bit pricey. The way. They're a little pricey, but they are worth it. And they will crave your cravings. Curb or curb your cravings. Like, well, crave your cravings. Well, you be craving whatever. some. <laughs> but and, and there's also if you're going to the gym and you need some extra protein, check out the link. It has Orgain uh, Keto Protein Powder. You mix that up with some almond milk and it tastes like a chocolate frosty from Wendy's. It does. And it really is good. And, t and it has okay, decent proteins, but what you want from it is it's 100% keto friendly. So, check that out if you're interested. And just like always, y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow and you'll find out what we did today. Much love, y'all.